Welcome everyone to the 2019 Top Prospect Tournament quarterfinal action here in Riccoboni. International wrestling star Caprice Coleman. Caprice, this is a matchup I've been looking forward to. Let's kick things off with Bobby Cruz. This is Caprice, Ken Dixon is a gentleman who's been cutting his teeth in the Northeast. Maryland Championship Wrestling comes in with quite a pedigree, but this is a man who relies on violence, not necessarily interested in winning by pinfall. He will look to incapacitate his opponents. He'll, he'll be glad to settle for a count out if it means going on to the next round, Caprice. Well, a win is a win. And he is a man who has a dark past. Looking to build on that history of violence here tonight in Atlanta. His opponent, though, couldn't be any more of a contrast. Yes. Total opposite. Caprice, I think there's a Haitian in the house here tonight. Weighing 240 pounds, the Haitian sensation. Haitian sensation discovered at the Ring of Honor Combine training camp, Caprice. And this is a young man who has come to the United States from Haiti. Come on, ATL! That's so cool! Getting the crowd electrified already. Training in Florida. Hey, you want some beans, Ring of Honor? I'm just standing up. This guy is a special kind of energy, Caprice. When I saw the Haitian sensation was signed for the Top Prospect Tournament, the first thing that came to mind was Dalton Castle. Yeah, win, lose, or draw, Dalton Castle made such an impression on the fans and the matchmakers in Ring of Honor that not many people remember that Dalton Castle actually lost his first match in the Top Prospect Tournament. Well, that's the good thing about this Prospect Tournament. We're gonna see a lot of great athletes. There's some that's gonna win, there's some that's gonna lose, but there's some that's gonna stand out. That's still gonna, we're gonna see them again. Yeah, we think back to the storied history of the Top Prospect Tournament. We've had men like Matt Taven, the world champion, Dalton Castle, who has also ascended to the world title. As you see Ken Dixon there. And a number of wrestlers over the years win tag team television and world championships. Take a look here at the tail of the tape. Ken Dixon, the experience edge. See, one thing is that you can spend too much time with these people on the outside of the ring instead of focusing on the guy on the inside. And the guy he's facing is very dangerous. Very dangerous, man. Very dangerous. We've alluded to his dark past. It's something that he does not like to talk about. Yeah. See? Similar background to you, Caprice, in the Middle East. And, you know, it's something that really has made an impression on him. Well, to be honest with you, Rico Bonnie, sometimes you go places to do things, and when you see things, you can't unsee them. And sometimes those pictures come back in your head, and uh, I can attest to that myself. And again, this couldn't be more of a contrast. This is a man. The good thing about this is, is that type of game plan against somebody that's total opposite can throw them off. The beads are on Ken Dixon. Yeah. He, he might have bit off more than he could chew on this one. And calls for the bell, and we're off top prospect tournament quarterfinal here. What a world. Yeah. Is, is he contagious? Well, there is a Haitian in the house here tonight. The winner of this match will face the winner, Jack Draper. And Makita, and it's, oh, wow. Look at that straight right from Dixon. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, just breaks the beads in half. I, 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 I would have took some beads. Wow. You're already looking sharp, Caprice. I, I know. I, I think the beads, no offense to the Haitian sensation. Yeah. But I would give them to my wife. Oh, there you go. 
Ken Dixon in control with the Haitian sensation, dumps him to the outside. This is what we alluded to earlier, Caprice. The idea that Ken Dixon, much like the Briscoes in Ladder Wars past, they are looking for violence. They are looking to incapacitate their opponent. He is not beyond taking a count out. Yep. Definitely one of the brawlers of this tournament. One of the only brawlers in this tournament. We talked about Dak Draper. We talked about Kita. We talked about Austin Gunn, who will be boom, competing as the number one seed, number yeah. one Brian Johnson. Mm -hmm. When you talk about contrast and style, sometimes uh, when you're facing a brawler, uh, there's a mentality that they have that their opponent can't attest to. Because even though the Haitian sensation is wrestling, he has some care in his heart that he wants to have a good match. That is the total opposite of what Dixon's about. He just wants to win at any means necessary. And this has been a fight right now. We're up to 15. This could be the strategy of Ken Dixon, but it could backfire. We're up to 17. It's Dixon and Haitian sensation. And an 18. It's a, oh, oh, look at broke. that. See, that's intentionally breaking yeah. the count to inflict more violence. Ken Dixon, a dangerous, dangerous man, just stalking his prey, yep. driving the elbow. So we talked about the storied history of the top prospect tournament. It's produced multiple world champions, multiple television champions, tag team champions, and it's Dixon sending Haitian sensation back to the outside. It looks like Dixon is doing a whole lot, but he's very methodical with his approach. Everything that he's doing, it, it actually means something. He's, he's striking certain body parts. Uh, he's hurting uh, the guy. He has a game plan. And that's what throws a lot of wrestlers off when you're facing somebody like that because you don't understand what he's doing until he puts the final touch on you. Yeah, he's somebody who is stalking his prey right now. Very yep. deliberate movement, no wasted motion to your point. Caprice. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. A lot of young guys that, that want to be brawlers that just falls to the walls and part of my, my French there. But, but they're just hitting the guy. But he's very he's taking his time with it, and that means a whole lot. And using the hair of the Haitian sensation to essentially tie him up yeah. into the ropes, not just delivering yeah. the heel of the boot into the upper chest. Wait, the hair is just there, man. Probably glows in the dark, too. Come on, Haitian. There's a Haitian in the house, y'all. Ken Dixon just taunting Haitian sensation here. Firing back up. Count the Holy Ghost. Well, he's trying to, to get something going here, as unorthodox as it may be. He's in trouble trying to get the blood flowing, get things going here at center stage. It's the Haitian sensation now on the comeback trail. Corner, creates space, catches Dixon with a clothesline. And another sends Dixon down. Haitian sensation, backbreaker. Nice. Has him in the corner. Wow, big elbow. I don't think he's finished with the Riccoboni. Watch your mouth! Watch your Watch mouth! Your mouth. Whoa. Whoa! Haitian sensation, calling for Dixon to get up. Oh, looking for the Haitian vacation, his finishing move. Instead, yeah. it's Dixon, who has him in a fireman's carry. Sends him off the ropes. Up and over goes the Haitian sensation. Oh, big shot. And we may have underestimated Haitian uh, sensation's brawling. I was getting ready to say that. He's pulling out some stops here. And this is a big man standing north of six feet, two inches tall. Oh, driving Dixon down. And you got to wonder, Caprice, I mean, this was Dixon's game plan to get Haitian sensation to the outside. But it, yeah. at points, it's looked like it's backfiring here. And it's almost like he's using the same medicine against him. Up to 11. This is the second or third time tonight that we're above 10. Now, wow. if, there, if there's a double count out, both men are eliminated, yeah, Caprice. I, I don't think that'll happen. I think the Haitian sensation will break the count before that happens. We're back up to 16. And it's Dixon bringing him in. Oh! Wow. oh that, that could, yeah, that could oh. cost the match right there. We're at 18, Caprice. Haitian sensation may win this by count Come on, get in the ring. Oh, barely gets in. Ducks the clothesline. Haitian, big nice. Haitian, he got it. 
That might do it, Riccoboni. That might do it. Hey, wow. sensations going to the second round. The winner of the match is the semi-finals of the tournament, Haitian Sensation. And look at that, the man from Haiti, Haitian Sensation, taking up the victory. As we take a look at the replay there, that is called the Haitian Vacation, a kick he's mastered. Caprice in Haiti and in the Southeast, what a victory here tonight. He will move on to the semi-finals. And here in Atlanta for Caprice Coleman, I'm Ian Riccoboni. Happy wrestling, everybody. Thanks for watching this first round match.